Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Recently, Adobe updated Photoshop to version 22.4.1. In this video, we're going to talk about what's new in this the latest release of Photoshop. Now, to tell you the truth, there's really not a lot new. This was mostly bug fixes and stability updates in this release. But there is a new feature that I've actually already received an email about. It's not that significant of a thing, but let's talk about this right away. First of all, uh, as you look at the image that I have now, if you look over in the top left-hand corner, you could see that it was a raw file. It's underscore 8631.nef, right? But I've done work on this raw file. You could over, see over on the right, the raw file is the actual, actually the background layer. And then I replaced the sky and I added a bird to the sky. As a matter of fact, I recently did a video demonstrating how to do this to this very image. If you'd like to watch that video, I'll have a link to it in the description below this video. And in it, I replace the sky and add a bird to the sky. So you could check that out. Now, again, it still has the name uh, .nef, all right? And I did all this work to it. Now, let's go up to File. And you could see that we always had Save. That was always there. You save it. You could Save As. All right, so you could change the name basically. And then you have save a copy. This is what is new. Let's pick that one. Normal dialog box comes up and you could save it, you know, give it a name. I'm going to give it um, my image. Okay, just for fun. And we're going to save it to the desktop. We'll save it as a Photoshop a file. We'll keep the layers intact. We'll embed the color profile. None of that's important, all right? But we're going to myimage.psd and I'm going to click save. Okay, now I saved it. Now you can see it's saving over here. Now look, it still has that same file name. Well, what's the difference between this and Save As? Well, let's go up to File and go to Save As. You get a similar dialog box. And this we'll just call, um, the other one I called My Image, we'll call this one My Photo, okay? All right, and same thing, Photoshop, Embed Color, uh, Profile. You also have the option to save it as a copy by pushing that button, but we're not going to, all right? And uh, we're going to save it to the desktop, all right? So we'll click Save. And when I do that, if you go over here and you look at the tab, it's now myphoto.psd. So now this work I've just done, I've changed the name of it when I use Save As. When you use Save a Copy, you keep the original file name, whatever it was. It doesn't have to be a raw file name like .nef or .cr2 or .arw or anything like that. It could be, you know, a .psd, a .tiff, .jpg, whatever. When you use save a copy, you're not renaming your work. You're just saving a copy with a unique name. And then you're continuing on with your work and you could save that as a different name. Now, why would you want to use this? I don't know. I guess maybe some people want to save a copy along the way as they're working. Like at this point, I want to save it and send it to my friend for their um, opinion. And I'll save it. And if, you know, they like it, fine. I'm going to keep working on it though and save it as a different name. But if they like it, then I'll take that copy and rework it from that point on. So, there's, I guess, reasons why people may want to do save a copy as opposed to save as. And overall, you know, I'm not sure it's something I'd use or need to use, but I guess there are people out there that may want to use it. Now, the other thing that's different, I won't call it new because it's always been there, is, or it's been there in the recent future, is neural filters. They kind of redid that. So if we go up to filter, and we go down neural filters right here. You see we go to this neural filter dialog. They redesigned this. So you have all the filters now all together. And the ones that aren't available yet are on this heading wait list. And you could say you're interested. I guess it's kind of vote for it. So if you want noise reduction, click on I'm interested. If you want face cleanup and so on, click on it. First highlight it, then click on it. Uh, say you're interested. Hopefully then they'll release that neural filter in a future Photoshop update. If you go back to all filters, I mentioned then it's kind of 
like all in one spot now. So you have all the working filters here. Featured are the ones that are fully working. Um, they're not beta versions of the filter. Then of course, beta are beta versions of the filter. They claim they're, you know, early releases of these neural filters and they're still working on them. And you would, you should expect some improvements on these beta filters in future releases. Now, if you just hover over a filter, you'll get a little tooltip and it will tell you uh, exactly what that filter does. So you can see, you can just hover over it just like that. Same thing for the featured ones, you could hover over it. So that's new. They redesigned uh, this dialog box for the neural filters. There's really not anything new there. It's just redesigned. So as I mentioned at the top, this release of Photoshop is more stability updates and bug fixes. Uh, there really isn't a lot new here. There is that save a copy. And I guess maybe that will come in handy for many photographers. Now again, if you want to watch that video where I demonstrate how to take this image, replace the sky, and add a bird in the sky, I have a link to it in the description below this video. Be sure to check it out. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.